everybody and welcome back to Dusty Book Sniffers. My name's Nicole and today we are talking April's TBR. Alright, so I am fairly new to TBRs. I used to be a mood reader so I would just grab whatever took my fancy and that would be it. So whether it be at the library, down the bookstore or on my own bookshelf. And then I would read that book and put it down and not think about it anymore or anything like that. But since starting watching Booktube, I decided that a TBR was a great idea. Having a stack of books, whether it be on my bedside table or here on my bookshelf, I can just grab a book and off I go. And something that else has been helping me create my TBRs is the um, Dusty Book Sniffers uh, reading challenge that I've been doing over in my crafting Facebook group so I've got a little reading nook over there in the crafting group and um, a few of us are I, I draw up a um, once every three months I draw up a form and it has just some prompts and you just pick a book like it's your choice and what book you choose and stuff like that so that's been really helping me um, I started doing that at the end of last year and we've continued it on into this year uh, we've got a few people that are joining us that are, are avid readers as well as avid crafters as I said I've got a little bit of a reading nook there and so I have my TBR for April all picked out and with the help of that and also my A to Z um, reading and also from the book grocer boxes that I got at the end of last year so how I choose my e uh, TBR one from the bingo um, prompts so I will actually have three months worth of that TBR pulled out because there's 12 weeks and then I try to pull at least four I have to a minimum of two but at least four um, of books that are not read on my bookshelf so I've got through the book grocer the big boxes of books that I talked about in my newbies tag um, so they are a company here in Australia and they have um, Put books into a box you get anywhere from 16 17 to 18 19 books and then they have a advent well they it, at the end of last year they had an advent one where you got 24 books um, and you opened up one a day from the 1st of December and they were all marked it was great they were all wrapped individually as well it was absolutely fabulous so I have a lot of books on my shelf that have not been read but I've been plowing like plowing through them and each month I try to pull a few off so let's get into my TBR enough waff waffling I've got a mixture of Kindle um, audio and physical books as well and a couple of my um, of my TBR are actually bingo prompts because I've already rolled all the bingos so I actually know what they are so for those that are in um, the reading bingo challenge over in the group you're going to get a sneak peek of what's coming up all right so the first um, one and they're not in any particular order or anything like that so okay so the first one that I that's on my TBR is Anne of Green Gables this is a bingo prompt and it is a read your favorite classic novel so I went with this one here um, Savannah doesn't know but I took it off her bookshelf because I couldn't find my copy my copy I think actually um, Mia may have taken it with her so not that Mia reads it but she just liked the little girl on the front but yeah so that is book one um, Anne of Green Gables this one here is another bingo prompt this prompt is have a read a book that you've had on your bookshelf for a while this is my oldest book on my shelf I think is it Yes, I'm not, apart from ones that I've collected um, from secondhand bookstores and all the rest of it. But this one, I personally, was a gift from my grandmother. Um, it was for my... I've worked it out that it was for my 10th birthday and she sent me the box set of um, Inner Blighted's um, Enchanted Woods, Faraway Tree um, and all the rest of them. So I've got to read that uh, for one of the bingo prompts as well. The next one that I have... And they're like they're kids books basically middle grade books I guess you would call them um, this shows you how old it is this book was two dollars fifty was the recommended pro retail price <laughs> here in Australia and 70p in the UK so I've had that for a while <laughs> um, so that was it was 42 years ago I got that book all right the next one um, that I'm reading is actually 
also a bingo prompt and it is a memoir and this was one of the books that I got in my uh, book haul from the second hand um, book fest that I went to. It's called uh, Sunday Best and it is um, an extraordinary, extraordinary memoir of faith survival and second chances. Imagine you grew up in a strict Baptist home where cooking on Sunday was forbidden and the women were considered to have no future other than a man's help meet. Um, what if you refused to accept the God-given place and ran away, ran away with a heroin addict? Imagine you just found your one true love you're very told everything you've ever dreamed of could be snatched away on that. So you'll have to excuse my reading out loud. I'm not really good at reading out loud. I get quite nervous and I start to stutter. It's just a, a, a tick that I've had for a, forever and a day. So bear with me when I'm reading out and I'm terrible at pronouncing names, which you will very quickly learn. <laughs> Um, I struggle more if I haven't read the text first, so I've tried to read all the text before I've got on camera, um, and that'll help make it a little bit easier on your ears. But that is also one that is on my TBR. The next one is these next four books are all from the book grocer. That some of them came in the boxes that I just um, picked, which I think I got a I think it's just called a literature box, fiction um, literature. And I also got a, 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 no, a crime thriller box and I got a hobby box which had all craft and knitting and, and all that sort of stuff. And um, I got the advent. So I got four boxes all up and that was from June or July last year right through to the end of the year. All right, so the first one that I'm going to be reading is The Book of Hidden Wonders. I've never read anything from this author before, Polly Crosby. Um, and that I just... I picked this purely, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like holographic. Um, the cover just, I love it. It's got moons and stars and the constellations. Romley lives in a ramshackle house with her um, artist father and a cat, Monty. Um, she knows little about her past, but she knows that she is loved. When her father finds fame with a series of childhood children's books starring her as the main character, everything changes. Exotic food appears on the table, her father appears on TV, strangers appear at the door. Um, convinced the books contain treasure hunting leading to a glittering prize. Um, but as time passes, Romilly's father begins increasing, becomes increasingly suspicious of everyone around him until before her eyes he begins to he begins to disappear so um very interesting premise behind that book so i'm looking forward to reading it but as i said i most of these books i haven't really read i've just um, like their blurbs or anything i've put them on the shelves after i've pulled them out had a bit of a look but this one caught my eye this month so i've grabbed that one to read the next one um this one i believe is a historical fiction it is called the betrayals by bridget collins i've not read anything by her very pretty cover absolutely love it if everything in your life was based on a lie would you risk it all to tell the truth that was the blur like a little blurb on the back um, she also re wrote The Binding as well and I have The Binding on audiobook. I haven't read that either or listened to that either. It's also available on Kindle as well. At Montevideo, an exclusive academy tucked away in the mountains, the best and brightest are trained for excellence in the grandeur, arcane and mis mysterious contests. I don't need any glasses too. I still haven't got them for those that have been around for a while. Can you tell? Because I'm holding it further, further away from me. <laughs> These need to be replaced. But yeah, so that looks like a... Um, I thought this was a historical fiction. I don't know what I'm thinking. Maybe the binding was the historical fiction I'm thinking of. So this this one seems to have a little bit of fantasy and magic and, and stuff in it. So yeah. Um, but again, gorgeous cover. Like, how beautiful is that? This one here, I just pulled off All the Beautiful Lies. This looks like to be a thriller in a dark and brilliant guessing game. A novel, Peter Swanson once again dis displays his unique gift for reprising and refreshing mystery writings and great, uh, the greatest tropes. On the eve of his college graduation, Harry is called home by his stepmother Alice to their house, uh, by his stepmother Alice to their house in Ma on the main coast following an unexpected death of his father. So judging by the um, cover, these are all purely picked by the cover. <laughs> okay, so this one here, this one came in the advent calendar, uh, that uh, the advent unboxing that I did for the, the books. It is called uh, To Capture What We Cannot Keep by Beatrice Collin. And it's basically set in Paris around the time of the building of the Eiffel Tower and the um, 
the main character, uh, Caitlin, I think her name is, she meets up with the designer of the Eiffel Tower and um, they meet in a hot air balloon ride and it just the story goes on from there. So the very interesting about thing about this book and what I find, the cover feels so beautiful to hold. It's got the, the beautiful gold on it and all the rest of it, but the pages here aren't smooth. Like It's like it's unfinished, like it's been hand bound. Um, you know, like those handmade books that you get from markets, notebooks and stuff like that. The pages feel like that and they're very soft to touch. Um, it's got a couple of pictures on the inside of the Eiffel Tower as it's going. Um, so that's going to be a very interesting read, that one. Okay, so I've got a couple of other books that I'm going to be reading as well. These are either audio or Kindle, so I don't have a physical copy. They were all the physical ones that I have here. The next one that I'm going to be reading, um, and this is going to be read around mid-month because it's actually a readathon that I'm doing with um, the Council of High ladies um they've got a discord and there's a whole group of them that all have booktube and basically they do like a it's it's a readathon you basically read as much as you can of that book or finish it within 24 hours now it's not a stay awake for 24 hours and read because i mean realistically i could never do that um it's just read as much as you can so they have a live show um on YouTube where they do reading sprints and then they sort of discuss what they've read in the first couple of chapters and all the rest of it and then they fit that goes for a couple of hours and then they you finish that off and then you can go over to their discord and um, you can discuss it further over there now I will leave a link to the channels of the ladies that I know that are participating um, that participated in the last one I'm not sure if they're going to be in the actual next one but I'll leave the links down below and I'm sure that they will have um, invites and what channel it's actually going to be hosted on because they rotate around their channels so that's that one so you can see the picture there um, Fortuna Swan it's called it's by as I said by KJ Sutton I actually know nothing about this book um, the blurb basically says that um, the girl has a brother that disappears she searches, searches for him and uh, basically a whole series of things happen while she's searching for him the next one that I'm reading is actually a bingo prompt as well and this one was to read a book from the year your mother was born. So my mum was born in 1954 um, and it's called The Sound of Ways by Yukio Mishima, I think it's called. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that um, is going to be, I know nothing again. I like to go into a lot of my books blind. I've never read anything by this um, author before. Um, and so I'm looking forward to actually reading it. And another one that we have, and this is another challenge that I'm um, doing, is to read um, a book from every country, basically. And I believe there's 197 on the list. And my first port of call is Afghanistan. And so I couldn't decide between these two books. And so um, these are both on Kindle. And one is a thousand splendid sons and the other one is kite runner and i think it's by alad hassini and um so i'm going to be reading those they are also a bingo prompt as well because i did put a um a prompt in there to read something from afghanistan and of course i want to read a classic every month and my classic i've already sort of covered that with anna green gables but i want to um, try and read more of the um, Charles Dickens catalogue so I the first one that I'm picking up is Pickwick Papers and um, that is just basically um, a lot of stories about a Pickwick club and yeah so I'm gonna read that and that was his first sort of novel essays writings that were put together in one place so I'm starting right at the beginning and then I'll work through his entire catalogue whether I get it all done this year or it'll go into next year as well but that's what I'm doing at the moment and I've also got a series and I use these during the day these are on audiobooks so these get read very quickly um, because I listen to my audiobooks very fast and so the series that I am still into and I'm up to book 19 and 20 I think I'm up to um, is the the Perfect series by Blake Pierce. I've just got my notes down here. He is self-published. I didn't realize he was self-published and he puts out a book for this series um, has been for the last 12 months every couple of um, months or the last two years actually every couple of months. So basically it's uh, the per the next two books that I'm up to is The Perfect Veil and The Perfect Indiscretion. So and that's the Jesse Hunt 
um, series. It's a psychological thriller. It's very fast paced. The books are only about 200 pages. So I fly through them in a couple of hours while I'm working. So I generally do that at the quilting machine and all the rest of it. But that is my April TBR. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me, are you reading any of those? A lot of those are um, backlisted. So and there's no new releases there that I'm aware of. Um, yeah, there's, they're all, you know, from the last couple of years and all the rest of it. So leave me a comment down below. Have you read any of the books? Tell me what you thought. Leave me the book emoji so I know you've got this far. Have a great day, everybody. Um, and I'm off to watch some other people's TBRs to add more books to my list. Have a great day, everybody. See you next time. Bye for now.